<clears throat> okay. Hey, black women. I want to keep this a little bit short and sweet. Um, and I don't want to go off today, but I wanted to respond to... There was a couple of... best way to describe these people are trolls that just couldn't let the video I put up explaining to you how to not be held captive to the Democratic or Republican Party or any other party because there are eight of them, right? When it comes to major elections or local elections, right? And the fact that there are these trolls which were like really stupid black women where you could clearly tell they don't know anything about the voting process, how government works, or how things have to be done in the country so that you could get advancement. All right, so when I had suggested, right, Stacey Abrams for president, right? Now, there's no one else that has shown with their literal actions not just whatever their politics are that you agree or don't agree with, but there's no one else who has literally done what she's done to help mobilize, empower, and register black women to improve, sorry, the bus was passing, to improve their life. Like, when you take an entire state and you turn it de democratic, right? And then you get people to do grassroots movements that work on employment, housing, agriculture, food, child care, etc. Things that are needed in your everyday today life. No other candidate or any potential candidate has ever done that, has ever spoke about doing that or gave a shit about doing that. So when I said that put Stacey Abrams for president right now I can't be 100% serious about her because she's a person like everybody else and I can't um what is the proper word I cannot fully promote her and feel confident in doing that because I don't know her right but going by what she showed me what what she did after she lost her race for governor is the only reason why I said that because there's no other candidate or would-be candidate that showed they even gave a shit at all about anybody black woman or poor or child so anyway one of the trolls that left me an idiotic statement right was talking about her stance on migrants or immigrants or whatever the case may be like that shit is irrelevant and this goes back to what i was saying about how these people are stupid and they don't know anything about how this government or this country works like you can have a fucking stance any way you want it could be totally uh, unbelievable stupid shit like she's standing sees me coming and going stand there and actually wait till i get close to her to move and I was getting ready to knock the shit out of her, but I had to check myself. Okay, so, um, what's the thing? I lost my train of thought with this stupid chick. Um, let me talk a little before I go in here. I sit down and eat. So, you could have, yeah, let me sit for a minute. You can have any stance you want, right? But, you gotta understand that your stance is not gonna be granted 100% simply because everything in this country is a voting process. That's why when idiotic divestors and others tell black women collectively to do like stupid shit like oh do a voting block for Republicans etc as if they're going to do something. Sonia I'll be in a minute. I'm just doing a little thing. I'll be right there. Oh, yeah, I'm going in there. Sit down. So, 
when they do those things, it's idiotic because, number one, no matter what party they belong to, they have to vote independently. And then the vote is tallied. And then whatever the tally is, is what is going to be passed or what is going to be um, omitted, right? Gone, eliminated. So that's why you have to know how things work before you speak. But the main point of what I was trying to get across was the fact that you have other options. And you're not limited or held hostage to only voting for this person, that person, or whoever else is one of the candidates. You can write in your own candidate, and you can actually make change in your government when you know how it works. So that was the point of the video. It wasn't to argue for the beliefs, the practices, or the imaginary villain that people think Stacey Abrams is. That's not what it was about. My video was about informing you, as all of them are, to what it is you should do or can do to improve black women's standings, black women's standard of, of, of conditions, living conditions in America. That is all I have ever come at you with. But I do understand, and believe me, I'm gonna say this, and I don't give a shit how it's taken, right? I understand that, sadly, just like Women's Fair said, uh, shortly after that whole breakup between her and Cynthia G. Nyland and the rest of them when they had their big fight on the panel that day. When she was talking about it later, she was talking about how stupid the collective of black women are and how all those people on that panel, when they were putting together their topics, that was their premise of their go-to as to how they would disseminate or give the message to you. And I agree with them because when someone's trying to tell you or explain to you how something works or give you a different option, and all you do is come back with the negative shit of trying to tear down information and trying to make it a personal thing instead of a political thing, there's no other way to look at it besides the fact that you're just fucking stupid. Like, if I'm telling you something that's beneficial to you for your knowledge bank and it's not personal, and it's not a personal attack, and I'm not forcing you. I'm explaining to you what your option is, and you still want to take it as if it's something personal. You're just a person that is really dumb, and you need a, a lot more education and a lot more emotional intelligence. So that is the whole, that's the whole thing I wanted to say. And... Um, as far as the people, the other troll that came and had a problem with my um, opinion or my video on me agreeing with Cardi B's statement, right? Straight up and down, not candy coated. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't live in my city. And there are a lot of reasons why, okay? You probably can't afford it. You're not educated enough to get here, settle, move in, live, grow, strive. So. If I tell you about something that I'm a master at doing, being here, do not try to challenge me on it because you don't know enough and you don't do enough here to know what you're talking about, okay? And that's basically it. If you don't live the experience, you can't give your opinion on it. So keep that in mind, okay, for all you trolls and idiotic chicks that want to come here and only want to always have something negative to say because you don't have shit going on in your life. So this is what gives you joy. It gives you great pleasure to try to harass, bother, demean, and dehumanize another black woman that is actually trying to help you and inform you to do things that are beneficial, not just to you, but for all of us. You know, but I get it. Your brain doesn't work outside of worrying about dudes, relationships, and gossip, and dumbass drama that all of these idiotic black women content creators on here do when it comes to black women. You know, if it's not all the things that's going on right now and the things that went on before, it's just a bunch of dumb shit constantly and all y'all wanna do is live in that light. So if that's what you wanna do, I say wholeheartedly do it, but stay off my channel for the people that actually wanna learn and do better and get information that will actually help them. Because there is a new order coming and you refuse to accept it or deal with it. So 
your fate will be poverty, getting your ass kicked, being in a domestic violence situational shit with some fucking bum, and eventually dying by black femicide and unfortunately taking your kids with you. So that's how you want to live. Go right ahead. Thank you, sir. Do that. I'm done. Bye.